Jesus. Come on. I'm sitting down. Again. Oh Jesus. <coughs> Jesus. You're free, brother. God bless you. Greetings. My name is Huizi Mudimu Mafasola. Uh, I come from Botswana, Mangkhodi, Botswana. Um, the reason why I came to Charis for the one on one, I um, was mainly for deliverance and, and impartation. I have been facing a lot of challenges in ministry. In, it's like everything in my life has always been difficult, has always been a struggle. Now to the extent where in ministry everything is not moving uh, the way uh, I had hoped the Lord would be leading me at this point. Um, the church was not growing. The church is not growing. That is actually the main reason why I, I am here. Um, the main reason was that, but the prophet, when we had one-on-one, uh, -on -one, the prophet even mentioned even uh, deeper details. He, he went into deeper details of probably why we are where we are today. While we were seated in a group, the first thing that he said to me was, where is the ministry? And, uh, and uh, this was the first time meeting the prophet, and I haven't said anything to him. Uh, I didn't even register like as a pastor or anything like that and I, 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 I confirmed that the ministry is in Mangkhodi, Botswana. Um, today I had the opportunity to meet with the prophet one-on-one -on -one, and uh, this is what he, he said. First, he, he asked me about a child, about a daughter. He asked me, where is this little girl? And uh, he, he continued to say, this little girl is not from uh, uh, the same woman who is my wife currently and I, I confirm that to be true and uh, he encouraged me to, to take care of this girl uh, every month take care of this little girl because he said um, the prophet continued to say um, this was the case from, from my father and he said uh, I have to break the case from my father and uh, also on that one I have to confirm because he mentioned my, 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 my brother and I said um, I do have a, I do have a, a, a stepbrother and he said yes, uh, break the case of your, of your father, be faithful to your wife because the more the ministry would grow you'd have to break this case, it doesn't have to continue. Otherwise, the enemy uh, would destroy everything around you. So I would like to, to confirm all that the prophet said. Uh, this case from my father, I, I, my father has got um, children with another wife and myself, I was born from another woman. And the same thing, even with me, I have a child in marriage and out of marriage, I, I do have another child there. So the prophet was saying, it has to stop with me. I have to, to ensure that it comes to an end. Otherwise, the enemy will destroy everything around me. He continued to, he also mentioned uh, the cows. So he asked me, where are these cows? I see cows, where are they? I, um, and I said, I don't have cows, but I have intentions to buy my own cows. He said, no, I'm not talking about the, the cows you, you intend to buy. And I said, I don't know where they are because my father gave me the cows, but I never, I never really at this point, I don't know where they are. And my father has been trying to invite me back home to say, come home, come take care of your cows. And um, because of issues, I had issues with my father. And, and my stepmother, so I, I haven't been going home to, 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 to collect those cows. And the man of God mentioned it, 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 uh, this was a delay. The enemy is actually trying to destroy uh, everything around me. He also went on to talk about the ministry, that the church is not growing. And uh, he also mentioned that uh, I was crying. 
I was crying to God for God to help me uh, with the anointing, for God to help me open my ears and my eyes um, in the spirit, which I, I, I all confirm them to be true. And he said, um, the prophet assured me not to worry that the Lord will have his way and his will will be done. I feel so enlightened today. I feel so happy. I One assurance that I believe and, and it, it, it actually gives me hope is that indeed the Lord is with me. Uh, the man of God did not know me. It was the first time meeting with, with the prophet of God, Prophet Andris. Uh, and then he spoke, you know, to details of my life. Details that uh, no one would know of here, apart, uh, apart from probably my family only. So he, he went into details. He spoke uh, deeper things. And I believe indeed God is with me. So you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yes, I, on the one-on-one -on -one with the Apostle of God, he, the first thing that he, he, he started with, he asked me, who is this person who's coming from Kanye? And uh, I confirmed that my wife indeed, she comes from Kanye. And he, he continued to mention, you know, attacks coming from her place, her home village there. And he, he went on to say this thing is even affecting my calling. Um, and he, 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 he said we should pray. We should pray for, for our marriage because the marriage would also affect my calling. And if, if the marriage, uh, there is separation that is going to happen, obviously my ministry will be affected. And um, first of all, let me just confirm that indeed my wife comes from Kanye and the attacks that the man of God was talking about, I can also confirm uh, them. The man of God mentioned sickness uh, uh, in, my, in my wife's body, which uh, sometimes he, he said, this can also affect my, my calling because I wonder if I pray for people and they get healed and my wife can't. Uh, be healed. I, I confirm that to be true. And um, another thing that he, he, he mentioned about the ministry, he said um, he sees me, uh, I carry fire. And, uh, you know, and, and, and with this, everything that is going on with my wife, he even mentioned my wife um, she was supposed to study in London I can also confirm that to be to be true that she's she's very smart she's very intelligent she ended up studying a program that she she really didn't want to to study so um, and I was I was really blessed the man of God prayed for me and he he, uh, he imparted some fire in me I, I am a, I'm a different man as I stand here yes. And so how do you feel after your one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres Simono? Well, it was really amazing that it was actually my first time coming here to, to Charis uh, Missionary Church, uh, all the way from Botswana to here. And they, they, you know, they spoke of things very detailed, of things which I, I would assume no one would know about. And that on its own just proved that God indeed is in this place and God also knows me and God is also with me because he revealed all these things to his servants. And I believe through this revelation I'm, I'm delivered, my family is delivered, my ministry is also delivered. The other thing that the, the, the Apostle of God talked about the ministry when he said I, 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 I indeed I carried the fire. Um, he saw me carrying the fire of God and he, he asked me of, of a, a particular man of God, a spiritual father. In, in the past, he described him whom I left and I didn't, I didn't you know, um, I didn't say goodbye. We, we left in, in, I just left. I can also confirm that to be very true to say I, uh, there was one man of God who indeed started this whole thing of my calling. He prayed for me. 
he prophesied to me about my calling. And uh, when I left, it was around um, COVID, COVID-19, and there were lockdowns. So I moved from the place where uh, I was staying. So I moved to another place. And just like that, I just vanished. And the man of God mentioned that, uh, the apostle mentioned that this man, he really loved me. And he's even worried, where am I? So he encouraged me to go back, to go back and and uh, sit down with him and apologize. Uh, because this, before the eyes of God, is, is, uh, it is rebellion. And that is why I'm even experiencing rebellion in my own ministry. My people rebelling against me. So the man of God advised me to, to go back and... And all these things I can actually confirm. I left, I didn't, we didn't, you know, I just vanished. And the, 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 the prophet of God, he really loved me and I, I just vanished like that. And now I'm really experiencing the same thing where there is like a spirit of rebellion in the church. My word of advice, viewers, uh, come to Charis. Visit Charis. Uh, come to hear from the Lord through his servants. Surely nothing the Lord would not do anything without first revealing it to his servants, the prophets.